Alright, welcome back to Sanctum of the Fallen. Continuing on and probably moving toward one of the last bosses. I think there's only two more left. I know there's Wrath. <laughs> Whoa, that had some fight on it and it exploded. <sighs> Boom! One shot hit. <laughs> Um, there's Wrath. It's the last aspect of Sin to go, anyways. Actually, I see. I remember I can't actually jump down here. Watch out! And then I think there's a boss after that, but I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed, I'm using the bow from the Aspect of Envy and most of the gear that seems to boost bow fighting. Key of the Destroyer. Let's quick save like a beast. Alright, what is down here? Woo. Let me up. Uh, let me up. What is this? Yup. Yup. Elevator? I can't use it. So... Where do I go? Oh, it's a ramp. Holy poop. Um... <laughs> when in doubt? I'm Seeker! Cannonball! Holy crap! Please don't fade out! Woohoo! <laughs> Become ethereal rules. <laughs> oh, there's, I guess, the base to that. Hall of Unrelenting Malice. Alright. Into the Hall of Unrelenting Malice. Dum da da dum. And into another door. Oh, what the? Whoa. What's going on in here? Holy crap. He's fight his own minions are attacking him. What the crap? Alright then. Let's take some pot shots at him then while we can. Um, am I hitting him? I... maybe I'm hitting him. Has his life bar even moving? I have no idea. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, oh, oh. Crap, he's got all this crap shit. Not sure if he's take what is it he's moving. Is he taking any damage at all? Strike on the aspect of wrath. But I don't even know. The Lord looks nasty. Missed. What's going 
someone like you. Really. Shot almost a hundred arrows at him. And it doesn't look like his, his AP has even moved. I'm getting critical strikes. Good hack. Good news and bad news. Good news is, he doesn't seem interested in me. Like, I mean, I'm getting sneak attacks, critical strikes, hits on him, and he's just kind of walking around. So that means I sneak is good enough that he doesn't oh, seem to notice me too much. I'm gonna take it out. Oh, at least that one won't try but the bad news is, I have literally shot almost 120 arrows at this guy. I mean, I might have missed with some, but I mean, I'm seeing plenty of sneak attacks and critical strikes and everything. And if I can get his HP bar to actually pop back up, you'll notice that I don't think I've even heard them. Like, literally, I don't think I've damaged him. This is gonna take some playing around. Okay, he seems to be the fire type guy, so here I am, pummeling the living Hades out of him with ice spells. You can see, like, his whole body is consumed with ice. And I don't know, but his life's not moving. Let's try this. I still haven't get what this spell, I think, is kind of glitched a little. I don't know. I'm trying to summon a Mistress of Lust. That's what I've got selected right now. And it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, so no Mistress of Lust. I'm kind of stuck in some of these animations. Hmm. I'm probably going to immediately regret this decision, but I've swapped some gear around and let's see how he handles melee combat. Because, yeah, holy crap, I shot a hundred arrows at him. Of those explosive arrows, with the godly bow from the Aspect of Envy. Pummeled him with the new spells and everything that he got, and it doesn't seem like he's taking any damage. Ah! Oh my god! Yeah, let's let's not melee him at all. Let's let's just let's just not. Okay, let's try a different magic school then. Holy crap, I'm pummeling him with lightning. He doesn't seem to be caring like at all. doesn't care, flat out. So, melee didn't really seem to move him in the odd two seconds that I was actually alive, meaning it's probably out of the question anyways. He seems to, so far, not shrug off frost and lightning entirely. Oh, he does this. Good lord. He likes to do that a lot. Am I hurting him at all? Just a little bit. A little bit of a HP movement would be nice. Uh, considering he seems to be a fiery type guy, I don't think fire is the best bet for him. But, I don't know, nothing else seems to be even moving his HP. on fire, I can see him. I just don't see his HP even moving. God dang it. 
I'm not going down there again. I know he one-shots me. I'm safe up here. <laughs> well, he doesn't one-shot me, but... Oh, jeez. But, still, he kills me way quick. Right, and I'm seeing how fast he's running around. There's no way he can run away from me. Chase him down and drop me in seconds. I had this rapid fire axe up too, and still, and I still couldn't self heal through it. So, hmm. Okay. I've fucked it up and did the same thing I did on. He's moving! Oh, he's actually moving! It's taken like 10 minutes, but I actually just noticed he's moving now. Now, unfortunately, it is on Nova's difficulty. I don't get that. He literally did not move in HP. He literally did not even move in HP. For I don't know how long I'm helping at him, even on those difficulties. Now he's moving. Okay. Well, let me reload an earlier save and try it again on Master. Maybe he's just periodically invulnerable or something. bow has drained stamina, drained life. Pretty darn nice epic bow on anything other than the freaking aspect of Wrath. Who, despite his complete unconcern for my very existence, almost has complete unconcern for my very existence. Oh, jeez. I don't even know what that does. Oh, causes the ceiling to go crazy. This is ridiculous. Alright. Another bad idea, but I'm gonna go in and melee it for melee again. Let's 
see how this goes. Loon! Loon house! Chant him with that, and let's dance. Break away. Uh, he just killed me way too fast. Just way too fast. Fire breath doesn't hurt that much, but... Alright, well, at least he's got my attention. Let's fight him fair and square. Hi. Nice. Come on, he's just breathing fire on me. up there. It's a good thing I just put it Holy crap. Oh, I finally got a Mr. Supplus to be summoned. Finally, anyways. It took a while. So let's go ahead and humble him again. We fell back down there. Mr. Supplus, go find him. Weren't you pummeling the aspect of injury when I summoned you with like ice lancing from a distance? You can do that here. I'll take any extra damage you're willing to give me. Or there we go, I think it yeah, you're shooting out of now. Thank you. Oh crap. What the heck? My spell hitting down there? It's Staff of Flow. Oh. Ice Storms. Meh. I have stabs like that. The Aspect of Wrath. Now let's see what you've got. Twin Blade of the Destroyer. Burns the target for 15 points. Targets and fire take extra damage. Creatures and people up to level 150 flee from combat. <laughs> so everything that gets touched by that runs. I'll take those. Stalwart Helmet of the Indomitable. Time between shouts, prices, can breathe underwater, stamina regenerates, increase armor by 40 points, uh, block 20% more damage to your shield, increases fire resistance by a percentage, increases frost, increases shock, one-handed attacks do something percent more damage, increases your health by a certain amount. Ah, oh, the dreaded armor of the Maleficar. There's the armor of that. Increase your health by 1,500 points. <laughs> Increase magic resistance by 67%. Health regenerates 150% faster. Increases armor rating by 120%. Conjuration spells cost 60% less to cast. Good lord. Destruction spells cost 60%. Illusion costs 30% less. Holy crap. 
Shrouded footpads. Increased carrying capacity, increased disease, increases poison, wears muffled, doubles. Oh my god, you get armor, gloves, and your chest double sneak attack damage. You will one shot everything. Oh my god. Health regenerates faster, sneaking is even better, one hand attacks do even more damage. Increase your stamina by 400 points. I'll take your gloves. The key of wrath. And I get some of my arrows back and refined gloves of the hunchman. Potions are better. Weapons and armor can be better. Increases enchanting skill. Magic regenerates better. Bows do even more damage. Sneaking is better. Increases light armor. Increases your magic. Awesome. All right. Oh. I think this is becoming fairly, fairly standard in here that you can't go near the bosses, period. It's like several of these bosses are just, they kill you in seconds, even with the gear that drops in here. You just plain drop. So meleeing is almost completely out of the question. Almost entirely, um, completely and almost completely useless. Oh, there's two gates. Uh, which one did I come through? I think I came through that one. So, really, magic or jeez. Mistress of Lust it must have unlimited t time duration or something. Unlocked with a key of wrath. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, it's just makes you go here quickly. Okay. Well, it took a while. It took a lot of pummeling, but the boss eventually went down. I think probably helped helped with this one. It's freaking beastly. Uh, summon. Take me up. Now, and you just need to find out where the final boss is and how to actually beat them. And I need to figure out how to get out of here first. Oh! And not fall to my death. <laughs> And I'll have to try out these twin blades of the destroyer. Just watch everything run. Anyways, back to the atrium. And we'll find out where to go next time. In probably the last episode of this. Sanctum of the Fallen.